Hi everyone, you alright? Yes, it's a it's it's a really loud night tonight. Uh, with it being uh November the fifth and everything. Yeah, I just hope everybody's okay and enjoying themselves. Yeah. Um I've been getting a lot of um reports of the banking situation. Um a woman who owns a business um well she deposited a check um into account and what happened was which bank was it barclays yeah barclays and um yeah it goes to show what length these banks are get going to to basically seize your money and yeah it's like what I said isn't it don't put don't put large um, lo, did I s talk about this I can't remember yeah do not put to uh, very large amounts in say five thousand pounds into the uh into the bank if you run a business what you should be doing is writing writing small checks small checks right small checks of about say 250 quid right um what if you haven't if you have a current account split you know split your money into different banks but as I said before do not go with banks that are a group um, because it's not that good it's not that good at all uh, and if you are running a business right uh, don't put 5,000 don't put 5,000 into your account uh, cut it up into small into smaller deposits and and once you've done that once you've done that uh, open a number of bank accounts so that you don't um get stung you know then you have then you have uh, money that you can use sorry about the fireworks in in the background um it, it, as i said it is bonfire night when i did this yeah so my mate gavin uh he runs a bit he was running a business he's running a business and I told him about this and he's had to I think it was NatWest Barclays Nationwide uh, Santander it, well it split his money up to all the different banks and yeah he said that uh, he said that the advice that I've been giving, giving to people has been the right advice 
and you don't keep your keep your money in one bank because if that bank turns round right and all of a sudden that bank bank's liquidity goes down the toilet right because lots of time lots of the time right a bank only holds so much money and if they get a bit of a run that's when they start seizing people's money if the you know and if they start um how can I put this? Rationing withdrawals. It's something to be uh, worried about. So split your split your accounts up with different banks, and just don't bank, don't just don't bank with the one bank. Split if you're. Um, Split your payments up in into these banks, you know. Split them up and uh, into smaller denominations. I know that some people have um, a bank for doing all this. You know, paying all their bills and everything, but don't do that. Don't do that. Split, split, split it up, and uh, like say you have, um, uh, one account for one supply. Have an account for each supplier that you have. I know it's a bit. I know it's a bit of a bit of a bind, but it will save save you having problems, you know. And uh, yeah, because it's not going to get better; it's going to get worse. And I was going to go to a bonfire tonight, but. Why should I when I've got this entertainment going on around me at the moment? And uh, yeah, and I just hope everybody's having a having a safe safe uh, safe time. I have I forgot to put some video some videos up for the past couple of days. Um, because basically I was just doing the same old, same old, uh, going to the sh going to the shop and that lot. A big massive shout out to Secret Blackburn and all those people who who uh, take the time to make make blogs and everything. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Black Fr Black Friday deals are being pushed out. Um, yeah, for some people, um, well, for quite a fair few people, um, Thanksgiving this year is going to be well bit of a bind you know and it's going to be um bit of a bad time for people because people aren't going to have the money and stuff it's going to be the same with Christmas you know it's going to be hellish and the hellishness is the more hellishness is to come yet 
and uh, be prepared, not scared, and yeah, start buying your stuff in. Buy tin stuff because it lasts a lot longer. Yeah, so I'm going to make a start on uh, buying some stuff in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I went through a six pack of crisps today. Oh dear, not good, not good. I'm going to have to take my meds in a bit. Yeah, as I said, it's been a loud night so far with all the fireworks going off. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be nice and quiet on Monday. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, everybody out there, start preparing. To, I think it's about time to take it to the next to the next level. A lot of my friends, a lot of my friends, have, um, well, started digging holes. And planting, uh, you know, stuff, you know, keeping stuff, you know, bug out, um, bug out to stuff so that uh, if anything does happen, yeah, but the major thing that is happening is that the authorities are absolutely lying to you you know um yeah so be prepared and ready for anything that happens the rumor is that there are going to be rolling blackouts but they were saying that, oh, they're going to be for maintenance reasons. Well, it's not. Majority of the, majority of, um, the electricity around here, especially the filed cost, is... Um, is basically generated at Heesham uh, which is a nuclear facility so yeah we'll just have to wait and see and see what happens so I'm gonna bugger off now because it's getting quite noisy where I am so it's three two one click